Hello. Well, welcome to a bit more of a Christmassy vlog this time. And I am preparing for the Christmas art fair at the Rope Walk at Barton on Humber. Did it last year, absolutely loved it. It's got such a lovely atmosphere. I love the Rope Walk anyway. Some of my friends were gonna have stalls there, so we'll have a lovely catch up. We're there the whole weekend, so the 3rd and 4th of December. If I get this vlog out before then, um, here's the info. If you live nearby, please come along. It's absolutely brilliant. The stalls are amazing. In fact, I'll probably spend more money than any takings I might get. <laughs> I do that every time. There's so much nice stuff there. Anyway, yeah, come along if you live nearby. If not, I will be filming some bits and bobs and hopefully share some little snippets of just how magical. I know this weekend's going to be magical. I, I'm really, really excited. Anyway, you'll be watching me um, trying to get my stall sorted in a minute. What a palaver. I can't build out for toffee, honestly. But anyway, you'll have a little chuckle over that, I hope. Uh, <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> what else is on the vlog? Oh, yeah. Also, I've had, yeah, I've been treating myself a little bit recently and I thought, I'm not, I'm not like treating myself as in buying things. I'm treating myself as in giving myself some time to do things. Um, and I spent a lovely afternoon a couple of weeks ago I went to the Fountain Arts in Scunthorpe and the 2021 Visual Arts Centre um, to look at two really exciting um, exhibitions. And so I will, um, yeah, I'll share some snippets later on in the vlog and I'll link uh, underneath the information about the galleries and the exhibitions. Um, so if you're in this area, please pop down. There's, there's some really exciting stuff going on um, and I really enjoyed it and there's absolutely nothing like going to an exhibition, visiting places, um, taking time for yourself to kind of like fill your inspiration up again and I'm starting to kind of get ideas and little inklings of things I'd like to do next year. Really, yeah, I'm excited for next year. I am really bad. I look far too forward. I think that's the teacher in me. But I'm getting really excited about stuff I'd like to do. Anyway, I've been chatting for way too long. I was only going to do a brief introduction. Here we go. Chat, chat, chat. Anyway, I'm going to let you laugh at me now trying to put my stall shelving together. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm doing a mock-up for my uh, Christmas fair stall. I'm at a Christmas fair, uh, first weekend of December at the Rote Walk in Barton. And luckily, thank the Lord, I took photos of my display last year because I am trying to work out how to set up this like little shelving stand. <laughs> it's really, <laughs> it really shouldn't be complicated. <laughs> oh Lord, oh please. Send me, send me positive thoughts. I'll come back to you later. Maybe. <laughs> if I survive. I'm making some progress, but now I've realised I've done it back to front. <laughs> but at least I've worked out how to stick them together. Oh my God. See you later. In about six weeks. <laughs> I've done it wrong again. <laughs> Oh no, you can tell I uh, I wasn't a Lego child. Oh God, I'm off for a cup of tea. See you later. <laughs> Honestly though, I don't know why I'm congratulating myself. That has taken me the best part of the morning. <laughs> but anyway, we got, oh wait, just a minute, let me show you. We got the lights. Da, da, da. And here. D -d -d oh my, it's like Vegas. Look at that. Anyway, yeah, you are literally allowed to laugh at me. Um, okay, I better crack As on. You can see, complete carnage. I've been here about two or three hours now, um, kind of stock taking. 
uh, that takes time and uh, jiggling around with the display a little bit different from last year because obviously I've got some different products um, nearly there uh, I think I'll have another cup of tea now and then get back to it but at least it's kind of making sense and I quite like them dangling there so yeah progress well it's dark outside now <laughs> and I've spent most of today sorting this out um but i absolutely i really love i love just like oops, squeaky slipper um i love just playing around and playing shops and trying to make it look nice i hope what i'm really happy with um i've only just got one pair of earrings but i'm going to use these um little trees to display um the earrings on my uh party lurcher ones and acrobat mice ones quite happy with that um yeah oh i can see uh hubby's back so i've got pasta bacon anyway just thought you might like to have a little look hey hey just packing away uh, the stall set up and I've got to box it all and kind of do a little stock take so that I can keep track of sales. It'll be easier when I switch my online shop back on. Um, yeah, so I've got all this to sort out. I've got about an hour to do it. So um, yeah, keep your fingers crossed for me. So a couple of weeks ago, I visited Fountain Arts in Scunthorpe to see the rather unsettling but strangely beautiful solo exhibition by Hannah Moulds, a local artist. It's amazing to be able to step into a space and be completely transported into like another world. Um, and it was just so good to see cutting edge, challenging contemporary art in this space. Uh, Fountain Arts is a new um, community arts organisation um, doing amazing work. Uh, please check out Fountain Arts on Instagram and on their website. Um, it's, it's just wonderful to see. There's a real buzz about this place um, and I completely enjoyed every minute. I also then just literally popped across the road to visit the 2021 Arts Centre and there's a brilliant exhibition by Jane Hudless called Changing Room and it's about um, the menopause and how historically women were viewed that were going through the menopause right up until till contemporary issues now. Um, amazing to see mixed media, textiles, installation, 3D, all the boundaries of specialisms kind of crossing over to create some thought-provoking, uh, challenging, really, really strong work. And yeah, I was just blown away. Um, both exhibitions just completely filled with inspiration. And uh, please go see them if you can. Thanks ever so much for watching. I'm trying to think of a festive biscuit. I don't know. I suppose I could draw a Christmas pudding. I don't to be honest, I don't like Christmas pudding and I don't like mince pies. But I might have to draw one of them. I don't know. I'll draw you something. So if you've lasted this long, here's your reward. I don't know what it is yet. But anyway, here's your reward. Hope it's a good one. Um, oh, I'm doing lots of ums. Should we switch that off? Um, 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 oh, I forgot. Um, and yeah, that's pants.